Uh, I mean, just being comfortable out there, you know, just have, getting a feel for the game, you know. Uh, preseason helped a lot, I feel like, you know, getting those reps and training camp and stuff. I feel like that all played a part, you know, like I said, being comfortable out there and just playing my game, you know, just believing in, you know, myself. You, you like taking on the other team's best receiver uh, a good bit of the time? Yeah, yeah, it's fun, you know. Uh, I really just take whoever comes to my side, you know, uh, however the coaches want to play it. But yeah, it's definitely fun, you know, to compete against those guys and uh, really just try to make a name for myself, you know. That's kind of what I want to do. You talked about confidence. I mean, how much has it grown since you started? Maybe how does that affect how you play uh, on, on Sunday? Uh, it's definitely grown, you know, a, a good bit, you know, since the start of the season. Uh, it's just giving me uh, ways to play the game, you know, uh, being comfortable. Like you said, once you're comfortable about that, you can uh, do new things. You know, you're able to change, give a change up, you know, have the receivers guessing. So uh, I feel like that's the main thing, you know, I kind of having them guessing, you know, not knowing, obviously not knowing what coverage them, but how I'm going to play them type, you know. You know. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm good, you know, uh, just uh, had to play through it, you know, Sunday, and uh, I'll be ready to go come Sunday. Uh, just, you know, you got to catch the ones they throw to you, obviously. And, uh, I mean, like you said, they, they just come to you, you know, especially when you're playing man coverage. Uh, you may get a chance, you know, to get some on bad balls, but it's kind of tough, you know, playing man. Um, you got to kind of just let them come to you, you know, when we are in, you know, zone coverage, you know, you got your eyes on the quarterback, you know, you got chances sometimes. But I feel like a lot of quarterbacks, you know, are being smart with the ball now. You know, we our pass rush are getting to them, so, you know, they're kind of, taking the sacks, you know, they're getting their sacks. So it's kind of tough, you know, when the front, it's not tough, we love it. You know, we want the guys to get their sacks, you know, so that's kind of the main thing that's, I'll say, that's a, plays a part. With a rookie quarterback going up, going up against you guys this week, I know you're still a young guy yourself, but yeah. do you try to bait and confuse them sometimes? Uh, definitely, I, I do that with everybody, you know, uh, just trying to uh, play the game with them, you know, I don't want to give them anything easy. Uh, you know, just want to, uh, be be able to you know to trick him into you know, doing some young rookie quarterback mistakes you know and uh, that's kind of what we want to uh, get after you know this week. I wish you remember working I guess against Corey in practices here. Mm. How, how much can you take from the, from that going in the game and just what do you think about him overall as a receiver? Mm -hmm. uh, Corey is a, a really good receiver. You know, happy for him. You know, at, at, at his new home, uh, he's a really good receiver. Uh, he he's a physical receiver, a good route runner. Um, and he, he can play at all three levels of the field, you know, so we got to uh, make sure that we cover him at all levels. Um, you know, it's, it was fun going against him last year. You know, I got to get some one-on-one -on -one reps. So, you know, I watched them, rewatched them, watched practice from last year, and uh, just uh, pick up on the new things that he's added to his game, you know, this, so far this year. It seems like Farley's a little bit in the situation that you were in last mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. Have you had any conversations with him about how you kind of endured what you did yeah. and emerged where you are now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you know, just trying to tell him, you know, to stay on it, you know, off the field, you know, you got to stay in your uh, playbook, you know, so when you are ready, when you are ready, you'll be able to come in, you know, step right in and the coaches will have faith in you to come in. That's the main message to him, you know, it, it can be challenging, you know, mentally as a rookie, you know, you come in and you expect to, you know, make an impact, but once you get hurt, you know, it's kind of like, dang, where do I go from here? So I just want to make sure, you know, that he stays on his playbook and, you know, that he has to be ready, you know, when his time comes.